Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited to show you a fantastic offering. What a, way, what a great way to close out the year. Uh, again, my name is Katie. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. And today's video is so exciting. This is the all new Dutch Star. So this 2023 4369 floor plan is fantastic. And I get to show you all sorts of new things from uh, new furniture choices to new interior features. And I can't wait to get started. So as usual, go ahead and take her on back. I like to go ahead and start my videos from the inside out as usual. So you can find us at Trans West at, at uh, RV's Inside Out or at TTT RV on YouTube. So I like to go ahead and just have you walk through and take a look at this beautiful coach. And you'll note that we have this really fantastic dining room table and a buffet with a desk on the way back. So we'll cover that as we go through this. Uh, but there are so many new features to this RV. Uh, it's really exciting uh, to be able to bring you uh, the Camelot interior, also our dolly uh, decor on the outside. Um, it's just a really, really gorgeous mix. Um, we have our traditional Bermuda glazed maple finish, and this is the matte finish. Um, so nice dark cabinetry. This is as dark as it gets with the Dutch Star. Um, and it's a lovely, lovely mix um, with the Camelot. So the Camelot has got kind of a gray tone to it. And one of my favorite features are these beautiful new undermount sinks. Lovely glass finish. Also all new faucets. And look at that beautiful tile backsplash. So small subways with a lot of gray in them. Um, mixed with this beautiful Camelot gives you a lot of flexibility and decor. We also have a new medicine cabinet here. As you can see, great visibility, lots of room. There are outlets in the cabinet so you can keep your, uh, plug, you can plug in your flat iron or your hair dryer. And then as usual, the 4369 boasts some of our best storage. It's a great under sink storage here. Three full extension soft close drawers in the center. So plenty of room for storage. Now this is a bath and a half model. This can be used uh, both for very much residential or vacationing. Um, there's plenty of room to live in this coach, especially with this extra closet space. And if you'll note that safe on the right hand side is actually mounted into the subframe of the coach. So pretty awesome there. And then there's a ton of storage. Let's go ahead and open this up and you, know, you catch some of those uh, shelves that you can see on the left. A nice well lit storage as well. Um, another feature that I've noticed that they've added this year is a lot of times you won't have your shade controls with you if you are using the facility. So they've got buttons here for your day shade as well as your night shade here behind your egress door. So if you'd like to be able to close your shades and you don't have the remote, of course it's much easier just to have buttons here. Um, again, all new hardware. You've got your Dometic touchless flush as well and then access here. So if you want to keep some, t some TP, uh, down there at the bottom, you've got a little bit of reserve space available to you. And then I'm going to go ahead and just show you how this egress door works. Uh, this is just a great place to be able to load any kind of linens that you have, um, hand over groceries, just get everything kind of uh, set up for you. And then of course, in the case of a fire, you've got an emergency exit in the rear of the coach. Now you'll note down here, one of the features that we're going to look at that's different today is our new flooring. And this is an all electric heated floor. Uh, one of my favorite things about the 4369 is the size of the shower. And I love that we have the towel racks on the outside of the door here. Also, we have our optional teak bench. This just makes it very easy to wash your feet or shave your legs. Uh, we have the optional assist handles in this package as well. And then you've got your handheld wand on an adjustable lever as well as your rain and shower head. Now you'll note here, you see this little guy, this is for your Aquaview system. So this is recycle. This is taking your 105 gallons of fresh water and recycling it back into the fresh water tank. When you switch it over here, it then starts to fill that 75 gallon gray water tank. So you can conserve your gray water. So 75 gallons of gray water is really, really stout. 
Um, but to be able to have an AquaView system paired with that 75-gallon uh, gray water tank is fantastic. Now this coach also does have a 55-gallon sewage tank, so some of the largest measurements available on the market. Uh, now, if you are interested in doing your laundry while traveling, I can usually get three or four loads uh, without maxing out my gray water while in motion. I love doing my laundry going down the road. Uh, it just makes it great because by the time you get to your campsite, you can go ahead, dump your gray tank, and then start with that fresh, full, fully empty, I should say, uh, gray tank went into the beginning of your camping trip. Another feature that's new for this year is going to be our design feature ceiling. So they've really made a nice update for that. Uh, very beautiful. Um, I think that one of the things that I see in this coach is we've gone for maybe a little more of a contemporary look. As you can see, we've got these really kind of beautiful backlit um, uh, design features here that are a lot more um, contemporary and less traditional than we've seen in the past of the Dutch Star. So a really nice mix, uh, bringing you into a little bit more of a modern feel in this coach. Of course, we still have our same fantastic storage. Uh, there's a grommet located on either side on the left and the right, so you can plug into those two 110 outlets that you have up and top. Uh, we also have a brand new headboard. Um, this is just so rich. You know, it's so funny. We get so spoiled uh, in working with Numar. You know, the curve here to the window treatment, the curve to the headboard, all ties into the curve here to your side treatments. Everything is really, really nicely oriented with each other and it matches so well. Another nice feature is that here we have two 110 outlets and that slit on top allows you to actually run your cords through the uh, top of that cabinet and then onto your nightstand without having to uh, without having to keep them plugged in on the outside. So you can actually just run your cord here through and then put it on top and then when you're traveling just put it back in that cabinet. Um, also love this new bedspread. This is an actually this is a bedspread I might consider keeping in my coach. It's very beautiful. It's got a nice silver uh, inlay. And then here you'll see, this is the extra single extension that we have for our table. And then this is the, uh, the additional chair. I've got one of these out. They were redesigned this year. Uh, but before I show you that, I just wanna show that we also have storage here. If you've got a CPAP machine, once again, using those little pockets above or below the nightstand, you could run uh, cord for your CPAP machine into either one of these nightstands and keep that below heart level. So really nice feature there as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now this does not have the uh, sleep number uh, round corner mattress. So if you'd like to have that, that's a considered an option. Um, for us here in Colorado, um, the high altitude, we like to just go with those regular mattresses a lot of times. And then You'll also note that we don't have a glass inlay or any kind of light coming through. This is a very nice, solid door, giving you good separation of space in your bedroom to your gallery. Gallery? Galley. <laughs> All right, so tons of closet space, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so these two closets in combination with the rear really give you more than enough space to go full time in this coach. I love the way these extend all the way out past the bottom cabinet so you can access them. And also, your 43-inch TV is a Samsung Smart TV. So this is going to give you the availability of watching Hulu or Peacock, whatever it is that you might like, Netflix. And of course, that's located over your beautiful dresser. And you'll note that down here on the floor, again, this is a, another heated floor. But this floor is um, not, there's no, there's no carpet here. And this is a result of what Numar calls more floor. So more floor gives you just that, more floor. By giving us a hydraulic lift on this side of the coach, we can actually put in uh, all tile, no carpet in this RV, which is really, really nice. And the 4369 has always boasted some of the best storage. Look at the size of these pantry cabinets. I mean, this is just fantastic space. Um, they're about twice the size of the cabinets I have on my Superstar, and we have plenty of storage there, but how decadent to have six of those. And then as mentioned, this is a bath and a half model. So here in the stool closet, you'll find, again, they've got those power shades accessible uh, right there on the wall. You've got that same fantastic uh, tile backsplash. And then I love this vessel sink. It's so beautiful. And there's a ton of storage in here as well. So 
As you can see, again, just a very nice uh, design, You've got both contemporary mixed with traditional, giving you a coach that's going to be very much timeless. Um, so I think Numar does a really good job of creating something that's going to have longevity. Of course, we have all of our fuses and breakers very clearly labeled. Um, Numar does a fantastic job in assembling these coaches. We've got a few GFI outlets up here as well. And that's where your floor heat would be. Uh, if, you needed, if you had a tripped breaker, that's where you would check. And then here is all of your storage. And I'm not gonna open this one. You'll just have to trust it's plenty big, but it's hard to get to with that camera. And then here we have even more storage underneath. And what's so nice about this is, you know, if you've got hand towels or you know, washcloths, things like that that you wanna keep in the coach, it's just great to be able to have all this extra room here for your guests to have access to in case, of course, you don't want them going into your bedroom in the morning trying to find a washcloth or something like that while getting ready to go. So um, in the 2023, I would say the number one uh, most important and biggest change for Numar is this 10 and a half inch screen. So this is really uh, the brains of the operations. Um, the guys that I work with will tell you one of the most important things for them is going to be the ability to go through and turn on and off all of your lights. So I can go to bedroom, all lights off, and as you can see, all the lights are off in that bedroom. I can go to bathroom, all lights off, all lights are off in that bathroom. But if I wanna go to that bathroom individually and turn, in, turn on my ceiling lights or my cosmetic lights, I can do that. In my bedroom, for instance, if you wanted to have just the courtesy lights on, you can go ahead and take a look at these down here. Uh, so there's a courtesy light right here. And then also to the left over here by the bottom of the door. And this is next to, of course, your plug-in for your, your vacuum cleaner. Just really nice to be able to do all of that from one screen. Um, your HVAC system is also controlled here as well. So you can set up your kitchen, your living room, and your bedroom temperatures. Your fans for your stool room, for your rear bathroom, and for your kitchen are all controlled here as well. Your floor heat, again, high, medium, and low for front, mid, or back. Now this is uh, different. You know, we talk a lot about hydronic heat in our industry. Hydronic heat is going to be uh, powered by your dual loop Chinook system. So you have a hydronic system that's pumping hot liquid into a burner inside of the, uh, the Chinook system itself, heating that up to a very hot temperature and then running that underneath the coach. And when they do that, it pushes warm air uh, into the coach over that hot coil. These floors are heated electrically, so they're not a hydronic heat, they're an electric heat, which is awesome because it gives you two different forms of very quiet warming in this coach. So you do have on a 43 foot Dutch Star, a 10 kilowatt or 10,000 watt uh, quiet diesel generator, three uh, 15,000 BTU heat pumps and air conditioners. But in combination with those heat pumps, you also have your hydronic heat as well as your floor heat. So a lot of different ways to keep warm in this coach. And that floor heat is one of the most silent ways to keep the coach at temperature. And what's so nice about that is you can keep this front living quarters nice and toasty. So when you get up and make coffee, your feet are gonna be nice and warm on that floor, slippers or not. But you can also keep it all the way off in the bedroom so you can have that nice cool sleeping experience that I think a lot of us like. Um, so another nice feature here, you can tell we've got our generator running. Uh, you can also see if you are on shore power, you can see what is being used. Um, so that's fantastic. And then on your home screen, you have access to all of those all lights on or all lights off features, as well as the readings for your fresh gray and black water tank. Now I know that this seems like a lot, but to make it even better, Numar has finally introduced a phone app that ties all of this together to an app on your phone. All these same readings are available to you on your phone. Um, to be very honest with you, it's the only differentiating factor between my Superstar and my Renegade that made me like the Renegade product. I love being able to take a look at my phone, to turn things on and off, to be able to look and see if I forgot something, all on my phone as opposed to having to get up and wander through the coach. So really, really nice that they've gone to that new step and given us also this great uh, interface right here in the middle of the RV. Much more convenient than going to the front. Uh, of course, we'll stay with our traditional 19.7 cubic foot Whirlpool refrigerator. Lovely uh, meat and cheese drawer down here, vegetable storage. And then I also love the fact that you can drop this down and keep a bottle of Prosecco, maybe some eggnog for those of you who uh, celebrated Merry Christmas yesterday. And uh, this is my last video for 2022, so I hope 
that this will usher in a very happy new year for you as well. So lots of room here in our freezer. Um, as you can see, deep storage. Uh, this coach is pre-wired for the um, for the for the freezer down below. So if you would like that uh, that Dometic, we can install that, but it is not installed on this coach. Uh, and by the way, this coach is available. So this 2023 4369 Dutch Star is available for sale. Um, now you'll also note that this year we've gone to a fantastic dark stainless undermount sink. So beautiful. Um, and for those of you who would like to see, it is a, a dual basin, but you'll see very low lip and a smaller sink on one side and a larger sink on the other. So really cool design feature there. And as mentioned, we have all new faucets and all new uh, trim throughout this coach for 2023. Lots of upgrades, not just on the interior, but also just on the exterior as well. Everything has been redesigned for 2023 in the Dutch Star. So of course, tons of room here. So much so, I'll go ahead and pull this out so you can see what's behind. So lots and lots of room uh, for storage with these pull-out trays. All of these cabinet spaces are carpet lined, even on the top here, just to keep it nice and quiet going down the road. The kitchen in the 4369 has always had a fantastic place to keep spices. Just love that. Again, all carpet lined, nice and quiet. Uh, great place to keep your plates and bowls like lots and lots of room in this coach. And then one of my favorite features uh, that we carry in the Newmar line, and honestly, Christmas dinner yesterday was made on an all induction cooktop. Um, I liked my cooktop so much in my uh, Renegade and also in my Superstar that I went ahead and had a, uh, an induction cooktop installed in my house. Precise cooking, great temperature control. And then this one is so nice because you could actually take it in and out and remove it. So. If you wanted to cook on your tour induction on your patio table outside or inside of your kitchen, you've got the option for both locations. Of course, we've got our fantastic cutting boards located here on the backs of our stove covers. And keep in mind, because you can actually boil water in about a third of the time, and you could even have a paper towel underneath a pot here, this is very much uh, something that's going to conserve energy and that you don't have to have propane. This is an all electric coach but also that it's going to give you safety. You're not gonna have an open flame in your kitchen of your RV, which is of course always a benefit. Uh, we did talk about our MCD power shades. So we're gonna go ahead and let's see all night down. Here we go. So one of the nicest features um, differentiating the Ventana from the Dutch Star is this. Um, being able to control all of your shades with the touch of a button is super handy. So if you do have people spending the night and you wanna darken up the coach so that they can sleep on their pull-out couch, it is really nice just to have these MCD power shades. And as I mentioned, um, one for the bedroom, one for the front of the coach, it's nice that you don't need to take these into the bathroom any longer because you can control your shades from inside of the stool closet or the rear restroom uh, without having to have the controls. Uh, your little sound bar controllers are going to be because we do have Bose sound bars throughout the coach, both inside and outside. And then you'll note that we have four Samsung uh, remotes. That's because we have a TV, 43-inch uh, television in the bedroom, a 43-inch television in the front of the coach, a 43-inch television in the outside cabinet of the coach, and then a 50-inch up here in the front. So four televisions in this coach, just in case you can't get enough of those Broncos not winning. Um, hey, listen, you got to be orange and blue regardless of how the team is doing. We'll just pray for rain uh, this Sunday. Maybe they can eke out one of their first wins in a lifetime against Kansas City. Um, so on the note of outside, really nice to have these remotes for your baggage door locks. Um, one of the things that's super cool, Ventana on up, you can get power baggage door locks. It's a really nice luxury to have uh, because you can actually very easily uh, lock and unlock all of your doors with just a touch of a button. Um, as mentioned, this is the Dolly exterior color combination. Um, a little bit of touch-up paint just in case you get a nick but one of the nicest things about the dollies we've got so many people that are looking again for that more contemporary feeling silver black gray combination and that paired with this Camelot interior and this dark wood gives you a really contemporary coach that's really still very classic and timeless um, of course we have our dishwasher here in a drawer by Fisher Pagel love these guys they do a great job for us uh, this coach is winterized and then a little extra storage down here as well. 
And down here on the left, you'll have cover, you'll have cover storage. So if you would have put your your uh, stove or your sink covers underneath while you're camping, nice place to be able to store them. And then again, these full extension slide outs just are game changers because you can get something all the way into the back of this cabinet without having to reach down or get on your hands and knees to access something. So super handy there. You know, I don't know, we keep bleach wipes down there and all sorts of other stuff and being able to put them the way back is just very convenient. Um, I love the pop out here. Of course, this is giving us still full extension drawers, all soft clothes again. Um, the Amish and Napanee do such a fantastic job. And if you haven't had a chance to go there and visit the factory, it is fascinating to watch them you know, build these coaches um, to assemble the foundations. Uh, this is built on the 450 horsepower Freightliner chassis. Uh, this has got 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. It's an amazing RV with a 15,000 pound towing capacity. But really what makes it amazing isn't just the chassis that it's built on, it's the foundation that it's built on and it's the way the coach is assembled at the factory with 16 on center residential style framing giving you C channel which is like aluminum channel with circles throughout it. it goes all the way up and down and it allows you to have actual uh, bat insulation in the coach walls and then your fiberglass is on the outside of that bat insulation so if you were to have any kind of run in or mark on the coach you could actually repair a section as opposed to having uh, that bonded foam where the, you know, the, the windows are kind of floating in the foam. Um, Numar really does a fantastic job at using this aluminum frame on top of this fantastic foundation. And what happens is these windows are all set in, into the aluminum. So they're not just hanging or floating. They're very, very sturdy. And then on top of it, this whole entire flooring mechanism is actually built, cooked, cured, and then lifted and put on top of the foundation after it's been done curing. So it's really interesting. What you get by having the foundation separate from the flooring, as opposed to being assembled going down the line, is you get uh, much less tile popping, a lot less cracking, a lot less of that creaky, flexy noise that you get going down the road. So this coach is not only fantastic in the park while you're camping, keeping you warm or keeping you cool, it's also fantastic going down the road, keeping you quiet, keeping that heat from the road out of the coach, keeping that cool air in your coach depending on the time of year that traveling. Um, so that's really important stuff. Uh, now this is such a treat, we rarely get to see this table ordered. Um, and honestly, I don't know why. First and foremost, uh, it, again, there's a full uh, extension you saw underneath uh, the table outside. It takes two people to kind of separate it, put it in place. But this is a huge dining room table and it fits right here underneath this buffet. But this buffet can be turned into an office area. And what's so nice about this is this is a great amount of space in the office area. You have your credenza here, so all of your files can go here. There's actually a track here so all your fire folders can hold here in line. And then you also have all of the storage space here. So if you are in the position where you like to get, you know, started on your retirement a little bit early, but you're not ready to stop working quite yet, this coach can do both things for you. Um, or if you're planning on living in your RV and you just want a place where you can sit down and write letters, maybe work while you're at the park, uh, do your research on whatever your new hobbies are. You know, this is a great location to be able to have tons of space. And as you can see, you can put your computer down here or your printer, and then you can run it through this little grommet up top next to those 110 outlets and USB charging ports. Uh, and you can actually get your whole entire office set up, set right here. Um, again, love this new decor for Numar. I think they did just such a great job on this Camelot, so pretty on the inside. Uh, this is a great location for any kind of stemware or glassware. Love the width of it, great place to keep your coffee cups. So just a ton of overhead storage available here. And then I am gonna go ahead and put this chair back into the underbed storage. I want you to see how hard this is to open. There you go. That was it. That was as difficult as it gets. Um, so a ton of storage underneath here and then we're going to go ahead and bring this slide in. Now one of the nice things about these bedroom slides um, is that even if you don't have this bedroom slide fully deployed you can still walk around the bed but when you do have it deployed in combination with this full wall slide on the 4369 
this is an immense amount of space. It feels so roomy and so comfortable in here. There you can see our cross ventilation on either side of the bed, just sliding away. Uh, we even have new artwork for 2023. So really everything in this coach is new. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. This is such a solid design for Numar. So this gives us the ability, first and foremost, if you're not in a position where you need to use your desk, maybe it's just the two of you having breakfast, uh, this design is set up so that you can do both. So this can actually be a freestanding dinette table. We always try to practice and make this look pretty easy, but to be honest with you, this one's pretty simple. Uh, these chairs are nice and weighty. They're not going to tip while they're in motion. They don't need to be strapped down or buckled in. But as you can see, you could put the table all the way in and have enough room to grab breakfast. You've got plenty of room here to keep your French press, to keep your cream and sugar, to put in your breakfast things, maybe a bowl of fruit, whatever it might be. You could bring this table out just a little bit so you had a little bit more room. So there's a lot of flexibility in this uh, dinette set and I really am excited to be able to show it to you because I think for those of you that are looking for a more residential feel, of course we all know no one has a booth at home. <laughs> so it's a little easier to get in and out of those chairs. Uh, the chairs are redesigned for 2023 as well. Uh, starting in 2022 we stopped putting in uh, Blu-ray players and we started going with our 4K TVs, but everything's wired here. so. If you would like to have anything uh, going into your television, you've got really easy access points. And we should just talk about outlets briefly. There's two 110s there, and then there's also two USB ports, and there's another set there. And then for your coffee maker, you've got another two 110s here, and then another two here as well. And this will give us an opportunity also to show this beautiful new subway tile, again for 2023. Uh, down here below, the mirror you'll find the kick plate for your central vac as well so you can use that just to sweep into and again with this more floor you really have a very easy to maintain coach and then again more overhead storage here and then this is going to be a really nice opportunity uh, in last monday's video i did a video on a 4369 dutch star and i covered the material uh, in the books that we offer so that you can come through and choose and pick what you like. Um, I wanted to show you, this is the Camelot interior throughout the coach. So you see this, this is a much more durable feeling uh, and maybe a little bit, it's got a nice handle to it, um, but much more durable than this softer, uh, more traditional leather that you find in the Dutch Star. So you can flip this and have this gray here and the white on the outside. In last week's video, if you go back and you take a look at that 4369 video, you can see what it would look like if you were to flip flop these colors. So this has got this more durable material that Newmark came out with this year. Um, it's a beautiful color. It's got a very nice handle to it. And I also think for those of you who have children, dogs, or just high traffic uh, situations in your coach, this is going to give you, I think, what we've had a lot of customers request, which is a little more of a durable uh, and easier to clean material. So really, really nice offering from Numar. And like I said, we can order the coaches for you either way. And we've got about 45% of them coming uh, with the material flipped. And we've got about 55% of them coming with it in this traditional um, layout. Now here we have this great full size bed. There's a few seat belts back here as well. But this is, as you can see, plenty of room for two adults. Uh, very comfortable, lots of space. And if you don't show your friends this video, they won't know that they can go camping with you because they're gonna think that you have theater seats. And these theater seats are fantastic. Let me go ahead and pop this bad boy back up. So super easy to transform. And you always wanna just grab oh, this little handle because you need to have that to release. And if it gets stuck underneath, it's not fun to fish for it. I had to fish for it this morning. Whoever put this away last did not pull the handle strap out. Little tricks you learn 
in doing a lot of these videos. All right, so let's go ahead and put this TV up. So TV lift up. You'll note that we went, we've gotten away from those little black buttons that we used to have to deploy the television. So a little more classy here. And then just gonna show you how this looks fully extended to watch TV. Here we go. So this controller not only controls the, uh, the, the um, theater seat, it also has a USB port in it right there, which is pretty cool. But tons of room here. And then look at this storage underneath. This is insane. Insane amounts of storage. And even a little, little box there. It smells very piney when you open it up. Let's go ahead and put this back up. Um, so that is not completely flat, but Lord knows enough margaritas and you could certainly take a nap there pretty easily. All right, so TV lifts back down. I think we've showed off everything in the coach that we have thus far. We're gonna go ahead and bring the slides in now. So as you can see here, this is so cool. You can see this hydraulic lift lifting the floor or lifting that slide up over the floor and then coming in. So this more floor is really revolutionized uh, what we can do in an RV. Of course, the more floor starts at the Dutch star level. So this is the entry point for it. The 43 foot Dutch star boasts a 10 kilowatt generator and 150 gallon uh, fuel capacity. So that's also quite a bit bigger um, than what you'll find tr traditionally on the market. Uh, the 40 foot coach will still have a hundred gallon fuel capacity, uh, but you know, 75 pounds of gray water, hundred pounds, 105 gallons of fresh water and a 55 gallon uh, sewer tank make for a really, really, really nice uh, camping experience. Uh, this coach has been pre-wired for solar. It does not have the solar installed. Uh, our new solar systems are really running um, quite a bit more, um, they're a little more hardy than the 110 watt uh, solar panels that are offered uh, by Numar at the manufacturing level. Our new panels by Zamp are 190 watt panels. And so I can put three 190 watt panels on this coach for less than four 110 watt panels. Of course, 570 versus 440 watts of solar giving you a lot more power as well. Um, okay, so some other nice features on this coach. You've got a wireless charging dock here. You've got all of your controls for your visor here as well. And then of course, I would be remiss to not show you uh, the step cover. Now, of course, this is a fully functioning recliner. So I could always put my, oops, wrong one. Here we go. My footrest up. But in the case that I didn't want to do that, I would be able to go ahead and very comfortably uh, sit down here with either my feet up or I can go ahead and put my foot rests down and I'm still going to have a cover uh, below my feet so I don't have to worry about Fifi falling into the hole. Now that being said, this is the extra wide seat. So plenty of room for a Frenchie and for you. So if you are like me and you have three Frenchies, you'll just have to pick which one will get the spot. I'm gonna say that Lady Annabelle is probably gonna get the spot. She's pretty much the prettiest one that we have. And then I wanna go over here into the driver's side and you can take a look there and see this is the size of the seat if you don't get the extra wide seat. So not nearly as much room, but for some people, um, there's a consideration that this is a little less walking space. In all honesty, this is such great walking space for, uh, for a Numar. We you know, tend to have pretty narrow uh, entries. So this is great walking space. And even with extra wide seat, I don't feel like it's compromising your ability to get past um, to the front of the cab. So pick which one makes you more comfortable. The extra wide seat is awfully nice. Uh, this feels maybe a little more tailored. And also I think if you were to have your armrest deployed, you would have an easier time having your arms on the armrest if it was not the extra wide seat. So just try to cover those things, not making a decision for you, just letting you know what the options are. Of course, we really take pride in doing that. Um, for the most part, almost all of 2022, most of the videos I did were on coaches that I had ordered for people that were pre-sold. Now that we're starting to have inventory available and in stock, it's really important to understand 
what your options are, but of course also that you can order and get exactly what you want. Um, okay, so another wireless charging dock, great place to keep your phone. You do have your Nav and Go navigation system, works, works fantastic, but if you want to have this up for Google Maps going through you know, city areas, you can do that. Fog lights, dome lights, battery boost. Um, you really don't need to dump your tag because you have this HWH hydraulic leveling system. Of course, that's what's powering your slides as well. But this system will actually dump your rear tag for you so that you don't overextend your front um, hydraulic leveling jacks if you deploy them. Uh, you do have heated mirrors with power control here. Also a really nice bonded driver side window that's also new for 2023. Um, of course, what do you get with a bonded window? Just a little more quiet. As you can see, we are uh, just about 10, 15 miles north of Denver on I-25, so very easy to get to. Probably 25 minute uh, drive from DIA if you'd like to come in and look at a lot of really cool coaches, whether it be our Prevo line with Emerald or with Newmar or Winnebago or Renegade or Antero. Um, we are a full service dealership as well, so we don't only have uh, the house side of service, we also have a fully integrated chassis service center as well. Uh, this is a Freightliner. We are Daimler Elite Freightliner Center um, as well as an Oasis Center as well as a Cummins um, authorized dealer. So you have everything that you need in one location and just a few miles away at Branch One, which is another store owned by TransWest, we have a fully um, upfitted body shop and paint facility. So if you have an accident and you need you know, body work and maybe chassis work or housework, uh, this is a dealership that can actually handle all of that for you with one organization as opposed to having to you know, send something off to Freightliner to have that fixed while they work on this part of the house. TransWest is really an all-encompassing, fantastic place to buy your RV. Um, now, speaking of fantastic, this all-glass dash is so nice. As you can see, you've got your cell phone uh, linked in here so you can tell what your battery charge is. You also have all of your displays here, including tire pressure in one system. Uh, they've moved the DEF display to uh, the center uh, main display this year. That was an ask by a lot of our clients. We also have our fuel, uh, fuel showing here. And then you can see your tire pressure and monitoring system. Please keep in mind you can have tire pressure monitors installed for your uh, tow coach as well. So if you've got a Jeep or something like that. And then you'll see here, this is your collision mitigation assistance. Uh, that cannot be turned off, but you can turn off your, um, your cruise control. So the cruise control can be operated in a few different ways. Um, for those of you that want to use distance mitigation, you can set your following speed to be, uh, let's go here to mobile eye, and there's road watch, okay. So cruise control, so you can set your cruise control to be at 3, 3.3 or 3.6 seconds, or you could use standard cruise control. So if you don't want to use the automatic cruise control with distance mitigation, you can turn that off. The only thing you can't turn off is going to be the collision mitigation. Collision mitigation is actually going to help you stop and not slam into the thing in front of you as hard. Uh, it can't prevent an accident, but it can certainly mitigate that accident. And that safety system is going to be standard on all of our Freightliner chassis. And uh, like I said, you can modify your cruise control, just not that collision mitigation system. Um, but so as you can see, this is a really cool system because it's really easy to kind of see everything that you have here. Now, of course, they've given us a gauge, so we have a shortcut to our steering effort. Uh, but it's really nice to see how comfort steer works. So you can turn this up and down. As you can see, it's very adjustable. And what comfort drive steering does is it actually keeps your steering wheel uh, straight going down the road so you're not going to have to do as much battling against the wind so if you've got a really strong crosswind tracking down you know i-80 going through wyoming instead of you know getting there and feeling like your right arm is about to you know burst out of the seams because you're like popeye from fighting that whole time and then your left arm of course is all you know atrophied and weak because it's not equally balanced you don't have to worry about walking around you know with you know, one arm bigger than the other because you've got comfort drive steering. And it, what it really does, you know, all jokes aside, is it really redu reduces driver to fatigue. So when you get there, you feel much more comfortable. Um, now, all of that being said, uh, you've got automatic headlights. Um, and then you also have a lane tracking package. And this year, in our lane tracking package, we actually have um, our uh, haptic feedback in our, in our seats. 
And we've also added intelligent high beam system. So here is your intelligent high beam, so you can enable or disable those. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those on. And then also our lane departure warning system here. So I can set it to low sensitivity or high sensitivity. I'll go ahead and go choose low sensitivity. Um, but what's so nice about this is you can set your speed limiter uh, or speed limit indicator so that if you're going 10 miles an hour over the speed limit, it will actually read the, stop, the, the speed signs or the, I'm sorry, the um, traffic signs and tell you what the speed limit is. And if you should be going 65 and you're going 75, this coach will tell you, hey, you might get a ticket. So very, very cool systems um, in this Freightliner Dash. Again, that haptic system in your seat is all new. It's standard in 2023. Um, visor controls are here. Docking light controls, overhead fans. High, medium, and low is not talking about your engine brake. That's located here. This is off, low, medium, and high. And then you can also choose whether you want to have uh, your standard shift points or you want to have a more economical shift point. So in the econ economy mode, it's important to understand. Um, I learned this, I don't know if I learned this at our Freightliner training or if I learned it at our Newmark classes. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Joe. So hey, Joe, thanks for the info. Um, for those of you who want to downshift to go faster, uh, your torque, your peak torque is at 22 uh, 100, 22, I'm sorry, 2,250 uh, uh, RPMs. So really low RPMs. Um, and it starts at like 1,250. So your torque, your torque is highest at lower RPMs. So by putting this coach into economy mode, you're actually going to get the best performance out of it. Um, and it's really important to understand for those of you that are like me, who grew up on stick shifts and race cars, you know, I've driven, you know, high performance German cars my entire life. And anytime you want to go faster, you just you know pop that pedal down twice and on you know on your paddle shifters and and get into a higher gear or lower gear and a higher RPM and you have more low end torque. In these RVs, it's very important to understand that your best torque band is at lower RPMs, not higher RPMs. So stop downshifting and start actually putting it onto eco mode, and then just be patient and let her work for you because she will go up that hill as fast as you'd like her to but she's going to do it more when she's slow and steady than, uh, well, like, I don't know, evil Knievel. <laughs> All right, so um, climate control we've covered. One thing I should mention is we do have these really fantastic um, overhead cameras these days. So the 360 overhead camera is such a delight. As you can see, my bay doors are open. There's the rear camera. I can also see, um, I had someone who asked me last week if you could actually um, so here's the rear camera view, here is the overhead camera view, and then here's the trailer view if you're trying to hook up your tow vehicle. That's also new for 2023. But somebody asked me, you know, can you see this while you're backing up? And the answer is unequivocally yes. 90% of your accidents happen um, while, you're in, um, while you're backing up in your RV. So this overhead 360 cameras to help show you I mean, you can see where the water is here before it goes into the drain. You can see all of the details here on the concrete below. You can also see whether or not you're going to run into a picnic table or a large rock. So really, really nice camera system, uh, much brighter, much better color than before. Um, so fantastic improvements there for our 2023 model. Um, and of course, that overhead view for being able to line up your tow vehicle is so nice. Uh, so this is the Razor antenna. This just means there's no crank to spin around. Uh, we've got a number of different Wi-Fi systems. Uh, there's a new uh, new system out this year that has better connectivity, but please ask me about Starlink and Cradlepoint if you're looking for Wi-Fi options because there are more available to you than you'd probably know. Um, this block heater, I promise you, works so well. We cleaned this coach last week. It was negative 18 that morning. We had the coach plugged into the block heater. She started right up. Um, this is for your 2800 uh, watt inverter. This is the Magnum system. Uh, that, that inverter is an upgrade that comes with the all electric coach. All your controls are here. Your Gerard awnings are all here as well. I will try to deploy them. It's pretty breezy. We've got, of course, another storm running through. It's, you know, December in Colorado, so go figure. Um, as you can see here, you can see what's going on with your generator, but how much more easy to read is that 10 inch display in the center of the, of the coach. I just love that you can see this on your phone or on a larger display. Uh, your Oasis center, uh, system here, we are running our heat off of the burner today. Uh, you could run it off of AC1 
or AC2 as well. These two settings are really going to be good for uh, temperature control. This burner system is going to be to get you much warmer, much faster, or to get your water hot. Heating water is really a challenge for any hydronic system, and turning your burner on and running off of diesel is going to give you a huge advantage there. Uh, so we are going to go ahead and turn our generator off. I don't know if you could hear that down below, but so that generator has been keeping us uh, powered this entire time. And again, mentioned earlier, we can have a uh, solar system installed on this coach. Uh, you could do four panels at 190 watts and have, you know, more solar than most people have um, on their three panel system. So I'm going to show you that little desk there for you going down the road. Like I said, this is a great coach for people that are working. Another nice thing that we want to talk about here is going to be this little button here. This is on that, that key fob we talked about earlier with power locks and uh, power unlock for all of your doors. You never know how convenient that is until you don't have it. Uh, this is just so nice to be able to hit the unlock button, go and get everything out of the coach. And, you know, especially in the cold, not having to go through with a key to lock and unlock all of those baggage doors when you're, you know, getting ready to leave. Um, also out here, you're going to see our heated seats. That is an optional feature on this coach. And then I'll go ahead and let you come down. I'm going to show underneath uh, these steps here. This is a great place to keep any kind of dog food, uh, pet leashes, any supplies you might want to keep underneath. There's lots of extra room here under the stairs. And then I love this uh, really nice screen. And it's important to understand, you can actually release this and then you can have it open. That way, if you wanted to pass groceries through without letting, you know, Lady Annabelle out of the coach, you could do that. You've got your screen doors secured, um, but your pass-through is available to you. So we go ahead and close this up. Uh, I know you heard the doorbell when we came in the first time. That was this little guy right here, so really nice to have a doorbell as well as this keyless entry lock. And then this little glowy no more handle, which is going to really help out when you need to find your front door at night, coming back in a dark campground. Of course, our, um, our wheels are really important. These are 330, I'm sorry, 365, one, 365, 70, 22.5s. So one of the most important things to understand is that that wider tire um, is going to give you much better traction, much better stability. Um, and then these Alcoa rims are really important to understand. You know, less reverberation, less noise, um, and a, just a better ride going down the road. So tires are very important uh, to Numar, very important to Freightliner, uh, very important to both manufacturers overall. Uh, here is access to your dual fill 150 gallon gas tank. And then our security lights down below. And then as I mentioned, this is pre-wired for your uh, Dometic. So if you wanted to have a three cubic foot Dometic on a slide installed into this coach, you could do so. Um, I would recommend giving it a run without first. Um, I would use this to plug in my paddleboard uh, pump to inflate my paddleboards personally. <laughs> um, I like a cooler with ice in it, but you know, everyone's got their own preference. Uh, these two manual trays, as you can see, are the full width across. And one of the nice things about this is, first of all, you can see uh, you've got your extra porcelain tile there in the center. But as you can see, that chassis rail is below the floor quite a bit. And so what they do is when they get these, um, when they get these chassis in, they actually build the uh, foundation up to the floor. They bring it uh, the floor on a table called Big Bertha. They weld the, the frame to the floor. And then, as I mentioned earlier, they take the tile floor, which is separate, and construct it on a different table and then they bring it over onto the completed foundation. So they're able to get all of this undercoated and painted before they bring that flooring in. So of course, any kind of rust um, prevention is, is always welcome in this industry. But as you can see, oh, there's a lot of room here for wires up above. Um, it's also going to take that, that weight that you have from your heavier slides and take it from the exterior and push it down towards the middle. So a lower center of gravity, um, more centralized in the coach, coupled with a V-Ride um, suspension and then an independent front suspension on the Dutch Star is going to give you one of the best handling coaches on the market. And as you can see, these come out to 60%. So you have really good accessibility into your 
coach with or without your slides deployed. So really, really nice feature there. Also in 2023, I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Look at me closing these doors. Really easy to close doors. Uh, Numar heard a lot of people complaining about how hard these doors were to close. Of course, they were after a tight seal. We've been able to give you that tight seal here with an easier to close door. Uh, here's access to your road vac. Now there is an optional slide that you could have for this area, but look at how much storage you have. It's so impressive. Um, all the way back, and then you can see the back of your Oasis system over there. Over here on this bag is going to be all of the attachments for your road vac. So those are all the hose attachments uh, just down below in the bag. There we go. Um, and so those attachments, of course, are really not necessary inside of a coach that has all tile. Um, oh, my favorite compartment, top shelf. You put all your, like, you know, good vodka, your tequila, you know, the crown. No, I'm just kidding. This is for tire shine. I don't know. Seems like a waste. Mixers, you know, you know I, you pick. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a tag axle. How do we know that? So first and foremost, when you have an innie, that's going to be a wheel that's pulling forward. When you have an Audi, that's a wheel that pivots. So anytime under 20 miles an hour, you're going to actually be able to uh, get better steering on this coach. Uh, this tag axle increases your turning radius by about 17 feet. Uh, so a much, much smaller turning radius, giving you a lot better maneuverability than even a smaller coach to get into a tight parking spot. So really, really important feature there. I think we have the engine running. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. So while I do take a look at this beautiful dolly exterior, so as I mentioned earlier, this dolly exterior is beautiful. It's black, it's grays, it's silvers. It's kind of some Prosecco colors. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, just a really beautiful interior or exterior color um, offered by Numar this year. Of course, we do have a lot of coaches that we will build um, in custom colors. It's really not necessary. You can go ahead and order um, off of the palette this year. You know, the Camelot's gorgeous. There's just a lot of really beautiful colors offered by Numar this year. And then there's that 43-inch Samsung television, our fourth TV. You also have two 110 outlets up here on the left, as well as USB ports. And then you also have your sound bar. It's over there. There we go. All right. And... That brings us to the back of the coach. So, dual fill def tank. Uh, this little blue line here goes to the other side. The tank is located on this side. Please keep in mind, Numar is very specific about where they put things for weight. Uh, they really want to keep this coach as balanced as possible going down the road. This is your chassis battery disconnect. House, of course, is just right inside that front door. And then as we talked about earlier, this is a 450 horsepower uh, 1,250 foot-tons of torque ISL, otherwise known as an 8.9 liter Cummins. You can see the marriage of the engine to the chassis right here. Very interesting to go into the Freightliner factory and watch them assemble these coaches. Uh, they're actually a lot of times assembled upside down and then flipped over and then have the different components mounted to them. But you can always tell which uh, parts Cummins is responsible for because they are red. And then all of the other colors are going to be black and that's going to be their Freightliner assembly. Uh, here's your Oasis uh, fluid here. Very important to understand that if you are below the fill line for your Oasis fluid, you will not have hydronic heat um, and hot water. So always make sure you keep an eye on that. If you mention that you've watched one of my videos, I'll give you a free Here, of course, we have all of our pre-wire in place. We also have what we call brake sync. Um, this brake sync is really unique. It is a line that is unique in that it is not attached to the brake line of the coach. It has its own separate canister. It doesn't tap into the line so that if your brakes on your coach fail, the coach will stop. You'll still be able to, to brake your tow vehicle. So really important feature there. Uh, here's that dual camera system. So here's your backup camera versus your overhead camera. That's what gives you that ability to see down onto that hitch while you're lining it up to get your uh, coach uh, or to get your tow vehicle attached. Side radiator, of course, is a feature of Dutch Star that a lot of people like. It gives us a lot more room inside of the coach to build. 
really not important these days to have a side radiator for cooling. Um, all of our cooling is controlled very much so throughout the coach, but it is a nice feature in that it gives us a lot of extra space. Now this is a great place to keep a gravity hose if you wanted to have an extra hose, um, maybe some gloves. And then here we have a power, uh, power hose reel. We've got the SantaCon system. Uh, down here you can see there's a little grommet there so you could run that hose through underneath the coach. This is so that you can run your hose outside of the RV with the door shut. And then this little guy, of course, is so that when you clean out this bay, you just plug it in when you're done so you don't get debris coming into the coach. We have a whole house water filter, uh, toilet, I'm sorry, toilet paper, <laughs> paper towel holder, which is really nice to actually have a place to keep one of those that keeps it dry as well, instead of like rolling around inside of the floor here, getting wet. Um, and then mentioned our, our SantaCon system, as well as our outdoor shower with hot and cold water. So really nice features there. Um, you've got a 50 foot power cord on a power reel right here. So just push that button, rolls it in. And then we also have the optional surge protector here. And if you'd like to have a cable inlet, that's where your cable comes into the coach. Again, here is the front side of that Oasis dual loop Chinook system. Again, there is a tank inside there with hydronic fluid that is being heated. And that's what's giving this coach the ability to really uh, keep the climate so comfortable in that RV. And then here, of course, is the backside for these really large slides. And as I mentioned, they come out to 60% on both sides. So as you can see, this huge whole wall slide, if it was deployed, you'd still have access to all of your, you know, uh, lawn chairs, barbecues, whatever it may be. Another slide, other side here. And then um, the all electric package comes with eight AGM batteries. So you have uh, 800, uh, 800 amp hours of battery service here. Uh, in 2023, Numar has given you an option to also have a lithionics system. So those are 320 amp hour, amp hour batteries. That package will consist of two lithionics batteries, giving you 640 amp hours of, of uh, storage. Keep in mind, the first thing that your coach is going to use is going to be generator. The second thing would be 50 amp. The third thing it would be using would be battery storage. Um, that solar only charges the battery storage. It's not going to run the coach. It just goes into those batteries. But with those lithionic systems, it's important to understand you really need to pick up that third battery to get you over what comes standard with an all electric package on a Dutch Star. Um, so lots of dialogue to be had about that. Um, if you're interested in that dialogue, I'm very, very well versed. And I would be happy to kind of run through the pros and cons of both. Uh, another access point to our 150 gallon fuel tank. Uh, so super nice dual fill, both death and gas. Here in this front compartment, you can also find our release to get access to our uh, generator, which of course is located in the front. One of the benefits of getting a uh, diesel pusher, of course, is that when you're driving down the road, your engine's in the back, way, way far away from where you're sitting. And when you're in your coach sleeping at night, oh, I thought I opened that. Uh, you have access to your air conditioning um, without having to listen to the generator because the generator is way, way in the front. Okay, if I didn't get it, we're not going to look at it. Let's take a look and see if I got it this time. There we go. <laughs> All right, so 10 kilowatt quiet diesel generator, hot water line here to the front as well. And then this is where you would uh, go ahead and attach your airline and that would just be so that you could fill your tires with air. So everything that you need in one beautiful package. Uh, this is a 2023 Newmar Dutch Star. This is stock number 5N. 220641. Again, 5N220641. Uh, my name again is Katie O'Neill. You can always find me at 303 562 8659. Again, 303 562 8659. Thank you so much for our fantastic 2022. I can't wait to see you on the flip side. Happy New Year.